For the Beaver Radio Network, I'm Brian Schultz. PSU football team will travel to the University of Mary in Bismarck this weekend, joined by outside linebacker Connor Quinn. Led the team in tackles for the fourth straight game. Congratulations on that. Thank you. How beat up, how sore are you after a game? Uh, a little bit. Um, just, you know, nicks and bruises. Everyone's got it, so got to play through it. How frustrating has the last couple of weeks been for you guys? The offense has started moving the ball a little bit again, but uh, you, you still haven't been able to find a win. Uh, it's definitely been frustrating. I mean, I mean, we're looking for the win, obviously. It's what we want. We've been working for it. We've been working hard. But, I mean, we, we're doing good things, and it's a matter of time. If you look on paper, Minnesota State comes into town. They've rolled over everybody, ranked number three in the country, and here you guys score 10 points in the first quarter against them. At what point did you say, we're in this game, let's not screw it up? I mean, right away. I mean, after the first drive, we could play with them. We showed that, and then just got to eliminate some big mistakes, and then we can play with number three team in the nation. We could pretty much play with anyone. It's no secret the South has dominated the North. You're in North uh, Division play the rest of the way. Does the mindset change at all? Knowing I mean, that, I mean, the on paper teams haven't been as good? Definitely. I mean, our goal is to always win as many games as we can. And obviously, we haven't got off to a good start. But another goal of ours is to win the North. And that's still definitely in our hands. So that's our next goal. What's it say about the current state of college football in your mind when Sioux Falls puts up 70 some points in three quarters last week and uh, you guys two weeks ago ran 107 plays offensively and the game has certainly changed hasn't it um, definitely from when my first college start I think I had 53 reps in a total game <laughs> and now it's like high 80s and 90s and it's just getting a lot faster and faster every week how much strain does that put on a defense a lot um, you got to be even more sound even when you get tired and you got to be prepared for 80s, 90s, 100 reps a game, and that's tough. You guys were rolling, especially in the front three defensively, uh, six, seven, eight, nine guys uh, against Mankato. Granted, it was hot uh, last Saturday, but you almost need to have depth. Definitely, I mean to to be successful at all, don't you? Uh, yeah, we you can't you can't physically run over 90 plays a game it's, and be productive. So, I mean, platooning guys in and out that's big for us and. Having depth on defense really helps us. Are you glad that you don't have to cover Blake Holder and Jawan Richard? I am definitely <laughs> glad. I get to do it every now and then in practice, and that, that's enough for me. When you've got guys with that much speed and that much ability to just seems to jump right out of the stadium, it's hard on a defense. How can you as a defense help them along and get better, and how can they help you get better? I mean, they can help us get better every day in practice just by playing against them and I think we help them get better. We give them different looks, and our defense has been doing good. But we, if we eliminate big plays against them, then we should be able to eliminate big plays against anyone. You're not a huge guy. Uh, you're, you've got to take a beating. How can you use other skills other than just flat-out size uh, to your advantage and uh, be that good defensively? Um, definitely I think it would be mentally. Um, the game comes to me naturally, and I think that it really helps me put my my athletic ability and my body in the right area to make plays you got to be a smart guy to play defense in this day and age don't you <laughs> definitely <laughs> i mean all the different checks and calls so yeah being smart on the field really helps best of luck to you this week in bismarck thank you